So if we have two sequences, one which converges to a non-zero limit and the other which diverges, then we want to show that the quotient of the one that diverges over the one that uh, converges to the non-zero limit uh, also diverges. So let's suppose that um, the limit as uh, n approaches infinity of some sequence a sub n uh, is equal to l where l is not zero. And say that bn, um, well, let bn be a sequence that diverges. So we want to show that, um, or we want to look at the terms a sub n over b sub n. And if we want to show that these diverge, we want to show that we can make these terms arbitrarily, arbitrarily large. Um, so if, or arbitrarily large or arbitrarily, um, you know, large in the, in the negative direction, meaning we can make them you know, as close to negative infinity as we like. So let's let, um, let's consider the case when the limit as n approaches infinity of b sub n is uh, equal to um, infinity. And of course, by that I just mean that if we take, you know, we can make the, make the terms b sub n as large as we want by taking, you know, by taking n sufficiently large. All right, well, if we look at um, the limit as n goes towards infinity of a sub n over b sub n, uh, excuse me, this should be the other direction, b sub n over a sub n. All right, so we want to look, prove that b sub n over a sub n um, diverges. Well, then this is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity over 1 over a sub n times the limit of b sub n. Of course, uh, now this is again equal to 1 over the limit of a sub n. So we can write this whole part as just 1 over L times the limit as n goes towards infinity of, um, of b sub n. Now let's remember what it means uh, for um, sequence to, uh, to diverge. Uh, if it goes you know, towards positive infinity, that means that um, for any real number m, uh, we, can take, we can make the terms of our sequence bn um, larger than m by going out far enough. So, in other words, there's a uh, capital N such that B sub N is greater than or equal to M if N is greater than um, or equal to N. So I'm going to modify this um, just a little bit. Um, of course, we could let um, M B, or there's also a corresponding N such that B N is greater than M times L. So if we do this, then um, just let N be greater than or equal to N and look at a term of, um, of this sequence. So we have 1 over L times um, B sub N. Well, this is going to be um, b sub n is greater than or equal to m times l. So this is greater than or equal to 1 over l times ml. So the l's cancel out, and this term is uh, just equal to m. And then this is a term in our sequence b sub n over a sub n. Of course, you know, if we go out large enough. So this says that if we go out far enough in the sequence b sub n over a sub n, we can get it um, 
greater than or equal to uh, any, any number m where we can make m as large as we want. So this says that um, b over n over, or b sub n over a sub n actually does diverge. And of course, if b sub n um, tends towards negative infinity, then you know, the proof will run exactly the same way, except we, now we would be wanting to take, you know, for any number, we would want to make b sub n less than that.